just um, to update things here, I've just we've just had on a throw five. We just had Vic, um, who was I believe up on a high ground near Hungerford, about seventy miles away, and I was able to get out to Vic on the sort of 9900 and I turned up the power just to sort of try and get that little bit of extra to him and got the high SWR warning again which was a little bit annoying so um, I just by chance I just wiggled the uh, coaxial sort of cable sort of plug here and although the um, this is done up as tight as it will go in fact I can't actually undo it with my uh, fingers um, the sort of inner part was loose and I've sort of tightened it slightly, and now I just can't... I have, with the strength of my hands, I know, I know I'm getting a bit older, but I'm just unable to turn it. So I, maybe that's cross-threaded or something, I don't know. And I've got another issue, which I've had before, is that I tried to... Put, well, I did. I pulled, the, uh, I pulled the headphones out of the radio, and I've lost the audio again. So... That's without the uh, sort of headphone socket in. I've actually uh, I've lost lost the audio. So we've got a lot of stations on here, um, but I can't record anything. So I've lost the audio. Now, before, that was a little connector there just inside on the motherboard that to sort of come loose, and that was following the little drop on the floor, which has caused quite a few problems. Since I dropped this on the floor, uh, you wouldn't think of it, just on the floor down there onto the carpet. Well, I dragged it across the room, to be honest, but that's caused a lot of issues. But as I say, at the moment... I'm going to have to try and get a pair of grips or something to undo that and to tighten it up, but I may have cross-threaded it. Um, that might be the reason for the um, for the high SWR and uh, no audio, which is a real shame because I was hoping to get... You've got a few stations on. We've got Chris5757, he's uh, down in Rygate, and he's set up on a home base there for the first time, and I'm able to get him. And uh, we've got Jimsy there in Barnet. We've got Awesome Dave. Uh, let's say we've got Vic. Hungerford just, up, just on the high ground there so I was hoping to get a little bit of video but uh, anyway going to uh, gonna get a pair of grips on that and get a little bit brutal with it and uh, it's obviously not tightened up enough I think it might be cross threaded so uh, back in a second right sorry for the handheld uh, I've got the uh, got the pliers there time I get back on the net everyone, everyone would have gone down it's just uh, this is not what I want to do I, I really don't like using brute force um, certainly on sort of you know antenna connections but uh, sometimes I might have a job to do this one handed and hold the camera at the same time let's uh, see oh no it's turning so that was really really tight but the inside part was uh, was loose there's the, uh, there's the sort of plug this isn't one I put on <laughs> so I know it should be okay and uh there's the thread on that itself. Well, that looks okay. It looks quite... I mean, no, in saying that, I don't know if you can see that. There is a little bit of um, sort of metal shavings or something there. So, uh, yeah, that obviously wasn't making a good connection. So, the, obviously, the, the grounding there wasn't working. It was just sort of, it was sort of slightly loose. So... Uh, I don't know if that would cause the, the high SWR. I'm not really sure. I might have to just put maybe a little bit of sort of, you know, Vaseline or sort of something on there. Cause that, see, that goes really tight. And that's what was happening. That, that's now really tight. But the uh, internal part, that I can still... Can you hear that? I can still move it. So there's obviously something wrong, I think. I might be looking at possibly replacing this uh, this coaxial plug. There's obviously something wrong with the thread inside the uh, inside there. So yeah, that might be a problem. But it doesn't explain the lack of audio. But we have been there before, and as I say, that turned out to be the little connector for the speaker on the uh, motherboard. So I might end up having to uh, possibly sort of glue that on. But anyway, I'll keep I'll keep you up to date. That's what Fred Two is about. I'll keep you up to date when I've uh, sort of got this tightening up as it should. But, so uh, yeah, maybe maybe that is the problem. That'd be a nice, easy solution. Save me pulling the antenna down, because I uh, didn't really fancy doing that anyway. OK, just a little update there. And, uh, as I say, I'll keep you up to date with the audio as well. All right, take care, everyone, and catch you later. <laughs> Oh, you know.
Oh, 